Michelin, they make a lot of tires. But did you know Michelin also makes the Michelin Guide, the most prestigious restaurant and book in the world? So, how did a French tire company go from cars to cuisine? The year is 1889. The car was freshly invented. And two French brothers, André and Édouard Michelin, had just opened a tire company. The only problem? They rent many cars. There were only 3,000 in all of France. So, the brothers scratched their heads and sort of ways to convince people to buy cars. And therefore, their tires. They thought, and they thought, and they thought a bit more. When BAM! An ingenious idea struck. The brothers would create a free guide with all the best hotels, mechanics, gas stations, and of course, restaurants. So that everyone would want to buy a car and explore France. Soon, 35,000 copies were making their way across France, and further versions were being made for Germany, Spain, and Northern Africa. Although readers were grateful for a list of nearby gas stations, what they really loved was the restaurant section, and they wanted to know which ones were best. So the brothers sent secret inspectors to visit and review restaurants. Michelin inspectors would then judge the restaurants on five rules. Quality of products, personality of the chef represented in the dish, value for money, consistency and mastery of flavor and cooking technique. Fast forward to 1926, and the first Michelin star ratings were given to fine dining establishments. Mesdames et messieurs, may I please present the Michelin star system. Une très bonne table dans sa catégorie, one star, a very good restaurant in category. Table excellente, mérite un détour. Two stars, excellent cooking, worth a détour. Une des meilleures tables, vaut le voyage. Three stars, exceptional cuisine, worth a special journey. Today, the guide rates over 40,000 establishments in over 24 territories across three continents, while Michelin sells 200 million tires a year. That's a whole lot of tires.